94 days that you had waiting for a day like this, what did it feel like to come back and get an interception in your return? Uh, it, it was about the win. It felt good to get a win. Uh, all the other stuff is just part of it. It's part of the, it's part of the plan. It's been a, it's been a long journey, um, but it's been a journey that I've been proud of, man. And God just been blessing me so much. It's all God. Like I put the work in, um, and, and let me stop you right. It, it ain't even me. Like y'all see me on Sundays and you see what I, what I'm able to do on the field. But man, it's it's the whole training staff, the whole. Man, weight room stuff, everybody just helped me along this journey, man. Um, and then just God, man. Um, that's really what it is. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's just God, honestly. Like, like I'm just amazed by, by how much grace and mercy God gives me and, um, and how he just keeps blessing me because I, mean, I just must got praying friends and praying family around me because, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm undeserving of how much he blesses me. So, um, yeah, it's just a lot of emotion for me, but it felt good to get the win. That's most important. And playing well was just a product of all the work, not only me, but everybody put in around me. Like, this just ain't a me thing. It's, it's truly everybody who's been around me. I, I just thank you to them. And, and again, just thank you to God. I did a video back when Jalen Ramsey first signed with the Miami Dolphins, and I knew right then that this guy's character, the type of man he was, would fit in perfectly with Tua Tungabailoa in the nucleus of the Miami Dolphins. On July 28th, July 28th, we're talking just a mere three months ago, almost three months ago to the day. He goes into surgery to repair a torn meniscus in his knee. And yesterday, remarkably, he steps on the field, he starts in a storybook that ending that couldn't be written by anyone else. He gets an interception and runs it back for like 30 or 40 yards, doesn't get the touchdown. He said he'll work on that. But it's storybook, and I know a lot of people don't like to hear it. They don't like me talking about it, even though the players themselves talk about it. You're gonna have to get over it. It's gonna have to face you right up front, right in your face. There is only one reason, there is a secret to the remarkable recovery of Jalen Ramsey. And medicine and training is second to that secret. It's his belief in God, his faith in God, and his belief that he is worshiping God with his performance on the field. Don't like it? Those were his words. Those were the very words that Jalen Ramsey spoke when interviewed after the game. It's amazing to me that people don't want to accept that. They think, hey, Barry, you're bringing God into this too much. I cover the team. I cover the Miami Dolphins. I'm one of the few guys who will spotlight what these guys really are all about inside. Not just scoring touchdowns and throwing touchdowns, but what kind of men they are. I, it's what drew me to this team. It's the reason why I started following this team and decided to start doing videos about it is because of the men that they are. It drives me absolutely nuts when I see some of the profane videos that get posted by so-called Miami Dolphins fans, who just with, I mean, laced with profanity because of a mistake during a game, a turnover, a loss. And it tells me they don't understand the peace and grace that comes with belief, faith, foundation. Jalen Ramsey comes back from a horrible injury, an injury that should have sidelined him for the season. He gets back in three months, gets on the field, and right here, in case you thought he made a mistake in the, in the post-game interview, here's his presser after the game where he reiterates it. God has blessed me and he continues to bless me and he continues to show me so much grace and mercy and even when I don't deserve it. Um, so I'm just super thankful, you know, that I have praying friends and family around me and um, that God just puts me in situations to be able to show who I am and thrive and worship him out there on the field. There's no getting around it. There is a special 
kind of feeling when you have that inner peace and you have that calm where you feel like something is telling you, you're okay. I got this, man. I, I really have this. You're going to see a theme in today's show where that kind of calm faith is definitely needed in today's sports world as, we're, as well as our regular world, the world outside the arena. I, I love the fact that he didn't feel at all ashamed that he he almost didn't feel like he deserved. He said it was his words. I don't deserve this. I, I, I don't understand. I, I have my belief. I have my faith. And why, why am I worthy of this blessing? Why am I worthy of, of being able to come back from a horrific injury, make an interception, and do so, and I worship you because you've blessed me. You've surrounded me with the best doctors. You've surrounded me with a family and support group who do nothing but pray over me to tell me, you got this, man. You are going to come back. You are going to play again. You are going to be good. You're gonna succeed at a very high level. Most of us never get to that level and he's had a rebirth, a second chance to get on that field and show everybody the kind of faithful man that he is. This goes way beyond sports. I hope you understand that. Yeah, he, he got an interception and yeah, that's good. That's great. He shows that he's got the skills. He's got the goods to be an NFL cornerback. But what he comes out and first and foremost says, the kind of stuff that you don't see in most of the headlines, the kind of words that you don't see on Twitter and on YouTube for the most part. Hey, man, how'd you, how'd you come back so far? How, how, how did it feel? Well, first thing I got to tell you, I, I'm blessed and I don't even deserve this. Bingo, that's it right there. Come on, man, give me give me everything you got at that point to try and capture that feeling that you have when you know that you've been blessed and that everything else is secondary. Miss a tackle, miss a block, blow an assignment. None of it matters, man. I'm out here by the glory of God. Tua says it. Tua says it all the time. Hey, you just got beat by the Philadelphia Eagles. How you feel? I'm good. I I'm really good. And uh, I'm going to continue to be good. You know why? Because this is below what I really believe in. This is this is secondary. I mean, no, it's probably third because it's God family work. God family team. My family is even above the team. And above my family is my faith, my God. A lot of people don't understand that. They buy tickets to the game. They get drunk, they drink beer, they gamble on FanDuel and DraftKings. And they don't realize that the team that you sit there and support, the team that you spend your money on, the team that you gamble on is like, okay, but understand we have a higher calling and you can go from player to player to player. Dig deep into who these guys are. Teron Armstead, Raheem Moster, Jalen Waddle, Tua Tungabailoa, Robbie Chosen. You can just keep going through this team and you're going to find one underlying thing that a lot of them have, the nucleus of this team has, and they bound together and said, we're men of faith, we're men of God, we're going to handle ourselves a certain way. And it starts up here. Mike McDaniel and all the troubles that he went through, kicking alcoholism, getting a second chance at life, getting a chance to go from being a drunk football coach, an assistant football coach, to being the head coach of arguably one of the best teams in the league. You think that's by accident? You think it's by accident that he's the head coach here? You think it's by accident that Deshaun Watson didn't get here? You think it's by accident that Brian Flores was moved out and Tua was able to stay and be under the tutelage of Mike McDaniel? You think it's by accident that Mike McDaniel put together a 700 play tape and told his quarterback, you're my guy, you're good. I'm gonna build you up. I'm gonna build you out from all the stuff that Brian Flores did. You think that's all by accident? You think Jalen Ramsey and his faith is just by accident? 
that's a lot of coincidences. That's a lot of things you have to believe happened other than the thing that did happen. These guys were blessed to be together. I am blessed to follow them. I am blessed to go ahead and talk about them. I can make any kind of criticism I want in terms of their performance. I can make any kind of accolade in terms of things they do well. I can question everything on the field. I can question every call Mike McDaniel makes. I will not question the character of this team, the character of the nucleus of this team. Tyreek, yeah, you got a few problems. You need to need, need to buckle down. But I guarantee you just being around the men in the locker room is helping Tyreek. I guarantee you that is something that Mike McDaniel said, hey, listen, we got this guy, awesome performer, great talent, kind of wacky upstairs, just doing things kind of off. You think we should sign him? Let's interview him. Okay, I feel good because of the nucleus I have in this locker room. Hey, listen, Chase Claypool's available. Went to Notre Dame. Everybody said he's got amazing talent, but he's had some issues at Pittsburgh and Chicago. You think it's worth a shot? Let me sit down and talk to him. Yeah, I think the guys in this locker room take their faith seriously that they're going to help a young man like Chase Claypool. I just wish that the fans of this organization understood what these guys stand for. There would be no vitriol. There would be no Twitter fights. There would be no blah, 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 blah. You're not a real fan. You're a hater and all this kind of crap. If you understood football is second, if you understood that football was a much less priority, not to me, to them, they have a higher priority. They feel blessed to be on the team. They understand you don't deserve it. it it's being bestowed upon you. Jalen Ramsey just completely epitomized that. He showed you in his action, in his performance, in his dedication, in his perseverance to come back. Jalen Ramsey is personified the proof that faith is what drives these guys. Okay, you're, and, and I know there's gonna be some people who click delete or don't wanna hear it or unsubscribe. Every chance I get to try and show you this, that these young men are building something and if they can sustain it, is much bigger than football. Maybe take some time and look at some of the things these guys do off the field. Maybe take some time and understand the kind of men that they are. Not just a quarterback, not just a running back, not just a wide receiver. That's football. I love the men. I love what these guys stand for. I love what they're trying to bring together with a bunch of different guys, some who may have some troubled past. This is the kind of team that you can really build upon if they can keep it together because the locker room is grounded in faith. You may not like it, you may not agree with it, but it's absolutely true. If you can believe what they say in, in the press conferences and you can believe what they show on the field when they specifically tell you the words, my faith got me through this. I give all glory and thanks to God. I am not deserving of this. He is bestowing this upon me. Why do you think it's said? Why do you think that, that each player, when you give them the chance, if you listen to what they have to say, why do you think they say it? Because it just, it just exudes from you. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that I am blessed with so much. I'm making great money, which is over here. I'm playing football, the game I love, and I'm surrounded by other men who feel exactly the same as I do. Can, you, can it be any better than that? Can it, can it be possibly any better than that? I don't think so. I just wish, like I said, that the fans understood and I don't have to click on a video and seeing somebody scream because the team lost or go into a tirade of profanity because they lost a game or probably lost a bet. Support the men. Support the men on this team as men before players, as fathers before players, as teammates before players. 
the spiritual realm of what's going on with the Miami Dolphins cannot be denied. God doesn't play favorites in the NFL. He doesn't pick winners and losers. He helps men. And this is the part that really, really probably a lot of people don't get. He helps men who submit to him. It's not Santa Claus. Hey, I wish I could win today. That ain't how it works. Hey, I hope I score a touchdown today. That ain't how it works. God, keep me safe. Please forgive me for all my sins. Help me move forward. Help, help me do your will. And if it's your will, I'll come back from this injury. If it's your will, I will work hard every single day to make the best exercise regimen, to make the best financial decisions, to make the best personal decisions. I will do your will. That's what Jalen Ramsey just said. Rewind this video and go look. That's what it's all about. Submit to his will and see what happens. If you made it this far, I hope you've got someone in your life that can help you with to make those kind of decisions. I'm not qualified. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a priest. All I can do is highlight what other people say, their words. I am not deserving. Thank you, Lord. I feel blessed beyond, beyond words. When you get to that point where, where you can say that, you understand it. It's just an inner peace. It took me a long time. It took me a hell of a long time. All the crap I went through and everything I did. I'm like, man, I, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm making money. I'm just not happy. Women here, women, I, I, I don't feel like I'm doing anything with my life. Want to want to know how I meet this one woman? I get married. 30 years later, we're still together. Two months into our, our courtship or marriage, rather, because we got married quickly. She goes, I want you to take a take a dive in this pool. And I get dunked and I'm like, Phew, yeah, I feel better. It really happens that way. Jalen Ramsey to uh, Teron Armstead, Raheem Mostert, Jalen Waddle. They'll all tell you the same thing. And I'm pretty sure Mike McDaniel. Let me know what you think about Jalen Ramsey's remarkable recovery and the secret to his recovery. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy?